Headers and footers can add a professional touch to your documents. They are great for framing your document and giving each of your pages a cohesive look. In this video, I show you how to create, edit, position, and delete headers and footers. If you jump over to the Insert tab of the ribbon, you'll notice that there's a header and footer group over here. In fact, you can use the header tool or the footer tool to select different predefined headers and footers that Word makes available. You can use these if you like, but you get a whole lot more flexibility if you ignore these and create your own headers and footers. Those who have been using Word for years understand that the easiest way to work with headers and footers is to simply double click in the uh, top or bottom portion of the page in the area where the header or footer would normally occur. Word then changes very subtly what you see on the screen. You'll note, for instance, that the main text is sort of grayed out just a little bit, plus a dotted line appears with the word header at the left side of the page. Notice as well that the header and footer tab of the ribbon is displayed and automatically selected. There's a good number of tools that are available on the header and footer tab of the ribbon. We're not going to go over all of them in this particular video, but I'll spend some time with those that you need to know in order to create a simple header or footer. Note at the left side of the ribbon that there is a header and footer group over here. This is the exact same header and footer group that we saw on the insert tab of the ribbon just a few moments ago. But when it comes to creating a header or footer, all you need to do is just pick whether you wanna work with the header or footer and then just start typing. Right now you can see that the insertion point is blinking in the header area. If we wanted to go down to the footer, we could either scroll down through the document to get down to the footer, or we can just click up here in the navigation group and say, go to footer, and it takes us directly down to the footer. For this particular document though, I'm gonna go ahead and create a header. And all I have to do is start typing what I want to be in that header. For instance, I'm going to type page and then what I'm going to do is indicate that I want a page number inserted here. I can do that by right up here in the insert group. I click on quick parts, then I click on field, which displays the field dialog box. And I can choose in the numbering category, I can choose page right here. And all I have to do is click OK. And all of a sudden I have the page number in here. In working with headers and footers, you can format these exactly as you would format any other text in the document. So for instance, if I wanted this to be just a little bit smaller than my normal text, all I'd have to do is uh, select the entire paragraph here. I'm gonna go back to the home tab of the ribbon. And I'm gonna change this to be nine point type. Now I can then say that I want this to be right aligned within this, uh, the margins of this page. And maybe I'll even uh, select it all and I'm going to make it italic. So now we have our page number formatted just like we want it to be. And in order to get out of this area of the document, all I have to do is go back to the header and footer tab of the ribbon and click on close header and footer. And when I do, I'm taken back to the main document and I can see that my header appears here at the top of page one. But if I scroll down to look at page two, well, there's my header right there as well. Only this time it has the number two for the page number. And I could go on down to page three and you can see that it's the same thing down here. If you later want to modify the headers and footers, all you have to do is just double click on the header or footer that you want to change. You're taken back to this uh, header or footer area and you can make any changes that you want to in here. And when you're done, just go ahead and click on that uh, close icon up here again and you're taken back to the regular document. Now that you know how to create headers and footers and to edit them, 
you should know that Word allows you to control where the header or footer appears on each page of your document. To position the header or footer, the easiest way is to go ahead and double click on that header or footer area again, and then you can use these controls in the position group to be able to indicate where you want it to appear. Now this is the header position from the top of the page. And what that means is, is where the very top of that text in that header will appear in relation to the top of the printed page. So if I want to increase this, all I have to do is keep clicking this and notice that it pushes down further and further within the document. If I push far enough, like I did just a moment ago here, it can push the document text down within the document as well. This could also happen if I press enter at the end of a uh, header or footer so that the header or footer takes additional lines within the document. It's important to understand that you can really complicate your page layout if you make the location value for the header or footer greater than the margins that you've specified for your document. You'll note that here I have specified that the header should appear at 1.3 inches from the top of the page. Now I talk about margins in a different lesson that I'll link to in the upper right corner of the screen. You can, however, see what your margins are by going ahead and uh, displaying the layout tab of the ribbon over here. And then what I'm going to do is click on this little icon down in the page setup area. That displays the page setup dialog box. And on the margins tab, you can see that my top margin is one inch. However, I've positioned the header so it starts at 1.3 inches from the top, and that's why it pushed all the rest of my text down. The idea is to remember that as long as you position your header or footer at a position less than these values that are shown in this dialog box, you'll have a simpler document and you'll get have fewer problems in how that header or footer is displayed in your document. I'll go ahead and get rid of the, uh, the extra line in there. Now, if you want to delete headers or footers, all you need to do is, again, double click on the header or footer, which brings you back to the header and footer tab of the ribbon here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete the header in here. You'll notice that I have it all right here, and I can go over to the header tool within the header and footer group, and down at the very bottom of what is displayed, I can choose remove header. And now my header has been removed from within this document. And if I close the header and footer, you can see that it didn't actually get rid of the paragraph that has been set aside for that header or footer. Well, the reason for that is because we formatted that paragraph. And basically all that happens when you choose to delete the header or remove the header is it gets rid of the text or anything that's uh, in that paragraph up there, but it doesn't get rid of the paragraph itself. The way that you can get rid of that is to go back into the header or footer area right up here. I'm gonna press Control Z so that you can see that this goes uh, right back in here like it was before. And if I wanted to get rid of this header, all that I have to do is go ahead and press Control A, which selects everything that's within the header. And now what I'm going to do is instead of pressing delete, I'm going to use some shortcuts that you can use to reset formatting. And the, I describe those more fully in a different quick tip that I'll link to in the upper right hand corner. But for right now, all I'm gonna do is use one of those shortcuts. And I'm gonna press Control Spacebar which sets that font back to the way that it was before. And I'm gonna press Control Q, which resets everything back to the way that it was before I did the right alignment on that paragraph. With those two shortcuts having been used at this point, since everything is selected within the header, all I have to do is either press the backspace key or the delete key, and then close the header and footer tab of the ribbon. And notice now that there is no paragraph remaining in the header area for this document. 
Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you now know how to add, edit, position, and delete headers and footers for your own documents. If you'd like to see more videos, make sure that you click the subscribe button and then click the bell to be notified when new videos are added to the WordTips channel. Thanks for spending some time with me today.